What's up guys, Jared Beckstrand here, physical therapist at ToneandTitan.com. Are you strong enough for our eight minute plank challenge? We're about to find out. Planks are one of my favorite abdominal exercises. In fact, I challenge you to find an exercise that works as many layers of the abs as effectively as a plank does. The thing is, we oftentimes get stuck into holding like a straight plank on our elbows and toes. Little do we know, or little do we care to know, there are a lot of different variations on a plank that can actually kick on different muscle groups and help to work our core even that much more effectively. And so that's the whole premise of this challenge. I'm not kidding you guys. We're going to hold a plank or some form thereof for eight straight minutes. Now we're going to be doing six different versions of a plank. You're going to hold each for 30 seconds. So that means at the end of that 30 seconds, you're counting down the seconds. You think, oh, this is, I, I don't know if I can hold this any longer. Right at that point, we're going to get into a different variation on a plank that's going to kind of give those muscles that we just worked a little bit of a rest while we hit a different group of abdominal muscles. Again, eight minute total plank challenge. Challenge. Let's get into it right now. All right, you guys, check it out. So six different types of plank. Again, we're going to hold each one of them for 30 seconds. I'm here to walk you through it. We're going to get through this together. Let's get a timer up and let's get into our first plank is going to be just your standard low straight plank. And so to do this, what I want is I want your elbows right below your shoulders. You're up on your toes. And then what we're going to do is we're just going to pop up into a plank. Keep your abs engaged. I'm looking for a straight line. Shoulders, hips, knees, toes or ankles, shoulders, hips, knees, ankles should be in a straight line. Keep your abs engaged. I don't want your butt too high. I don't want your butt too low. Finally, if you can, try to suck your belly button in while you're holding this straight plank. And there's our first 30 seconds, you guys. The next one we're going to get into is what we'd call a pike plank. And so now what I'm going to do is I'm going to slowly lift my butt up towards the ceiling, and then I'm going to drop down to a neutral position. Now you'll notice on this pike plank, what I'm doing, I'm not going so low that my back rounds forward. I'm still able to maintain my flat back down at the bottom of this plank. This is a great way. We're just going to activate a little bit more of the uh, um, rectus abdominis with this one, that six-pack muscle in the front, as well as the obliques as we're coming up and down into that pike position. Okay, 30 seconds there. Let's roll over into a side plank. I rolled over on my right elbow to engage into the side plank, what I'm looking for here. So I'm on my right elbow. My right elbow is right underneath my right shoulder. I'm also on the outside of my right foot. Uh, should be a straight line, basically nose, belly button, between the knees, between the ankles, should all be a straight line, should fill this one in the downside. So example, for example, I'm doing this on my right side, should fill this in those right internal and external obliques, those muscles on the side of your core. There's 30 seconds, now let's roll over onto the left. And so now we're gonna hold this one for 30 seconds. Same rules apply. So you'll see that my back is nice and straight, nice and flat. Hips aren't too high, hips aren't too low. Again, going for a nice straight line from the um, nose, belly button, between the knees, between the ankles. Here we're gonna engage those left obliques. Um, side plank's one of my favorite exercises to engage the lateral core, as well as those hip abductors to hold you in that side plank position. I nice job, you guys. Okay, quarter of the way there. Now we're gonna roll into some Superman, or excuse me, some Spider-Man planks. One of those superheroes, right? And so to do this, the Spider-Man plank, we're down in a low plank position on my elbows and on my toes, but now what I'm going to do is alternate bringing my, this is my right knee up towards my right elbow, here's my left knee up to my left elbow. And so with this one, we're just engaging a lot more core, we, we compromise the stability of the system to make the muscles have to work a little bit harder. So there's our 30 seconds there, and then let's get into the next one, it's going to be an up-down plank. And so for an up-down plank, we're going to go, so hand down and then other hand down basically we go from the low plank position up into the tall plank position and so left hand down right hand down left hand down right hand down and so that's what your up down plank looks like works a ton of shoulders works a ton of chest Basically, it's kind of a way that we can distract your, your core. We distract your stomach muscles while we're working the chest, shoulders, and arms into those plank positions. Nice job, you guys. Okay, let's give the front a break, and we're going to roll over into the side again. And so, again, I rolled over here onto my right side, working the right obliques, working those right hip abductors as I hold that plank static. 
again the goal here so we did a couple of exercises for kind of that anterior core wall so the front being the the um, rectus abdominis and so right when you know we did about a minute worth focusing on that so right when we can't do any more of those and there's your 30 seconds let's roll over onto the left right when we did all of those we can't hold that anymore okay well let's give the anterior wall a break by rolling over onto these lateral walls a little bit and so we're going to work the right side plank and the left side plank in between some of those other kind of anterior core muscles you guys are looking strong things are looking good try to keep those hips high they're going to want to duck down a little bit at this point you're not going to let them you've only got four more seconds left to hold this side plank three two one nice job you guys okay we're halfway there what we're going to do now is just repeat that series one more time and so we're going to roll back into the low plank and so again the core is nice and engaged it's only 30 seconds you guys i know you're burning right now but i know you can do it and so again trying to keep your back nice and flat I don't want too much of an arch in your back a lot of patients a lot of people who express to me planks really hurt my back most of the time the reason is you're not engaging that core try to keep your stomach sucked in try to keep your back flat instead of bowing down towards the floor Next, we're going to get into those pike planks again. And so again, so now we're just lifting the butt up towards the ceiling and then going down not so low that I'm going to round my back out. You should be able to maintain that kind of posterior pelvic tilt, that flat back posture. Keep your core engaged. Try to tuck the front of your pelvis up towards your rib cage, up towards your sternum. That's the cueing that we like to give people. Nice job, you guys. Three, two, one second left. Nice job on your up-down planks roll back into that right side plank. So again, that anterior core wall should be on fire, should be begging for some mercy. Let's offer it a little bit some relief by rolling over into that side plank position. So we're gonna get onto that right side. Again, my right elbow is right below my right shoulder. I'm on the outside of my right foot and then trying to maintain that plank nice and high. I know you guys, you're burning right now, but listen, we've got to try to keep that, those hips nice and high. Don't let your hips dip too low. They're going to want to sag towards the floor. Engage those right obliques to keep it up nice and high. 30 seconds there. Here we go. Let's roll over onto the left side. So now we've got 30 seconds in this left side plank. So again, I'm on my left elbow on the outside of my left foot. My left elbow is right beneath my left shoulder. Nice straight line. Again, kind of, you know, nose, belly button between the knees, between the ankles, looking for a nice straight line all the way down. Try to keep those hips nice and high. You're going to want to duck towards the floor. I don't want you to let them. Only two seconds left. Nice job, you guys. Okay, now we got to get back into some of those Spider-Man planks. And so again, I'm in a low plank position, but what I'm going to do is alternate bringing my um, left knee up towards my left elbow and then my right knee up towards my right elbow. Again, the, the, uh, the goal here is that we're just going to uh, you know, jeopardize the, the stability a little bit. So as we bring that left knee up towards the left um, elbow, that whole right side has to engage a little harder. Those right hip flexors, right quads, basically we're, we're compromising the, uh, the stability of the system to work the, the, work the muscles a little harder. Nice job, you guys. Hey, cool. Up, down planks. Let's hit it. And so again, we're just alternating back and forth, going from a tall plank position to a low plank position. Now, this is a great way to kind of distract your core. All of a sudden, you're focusing so much on your upper body, your chest, your tries, your shoulders, that you kind of forget that you're actually holding a plank through this, you know, relatively challenging and difficult position. Looks good, you guys. Hey, only one minute left. I know you're burning. We got this. We've just got two side planks left. Here we go, finish up strong, roll over onto that right side, and we're going to hit it with the right side plank. Now, this is, this is a burner, you guys. If you're looking for anything more than this, you can actually add some hip dips to this, lower the hip towards the floor, and then push the hip up towards the ceiling. If you're anything like me, you are burning pretty good by about right now. This is, again, seven and a half minutes of solid plank work. We've only got 30 seconds left, you guys. That means that we have held some form or some variation of a plank for eight solid minutes now. That's fantastic. Here we go, you guys. Only 20 seconds left. Finish up strong. So again, don't let those hips dip too low. Don't let them hip, uh, dip too high. We're going for a nice, good posture with these side planks. Those obliques are on fire. I know that. You guys, you only have seven seconds left. Hold it up there nice and strong, nice and tight. Only three seconds left. You guys can do it. Two, one. Nice job, you guys. Just nailed it. You totally roasted this total plank workout. All right, you guys, there you have it. How did you do? 
eight minutes of a total plank challenge. Again, we're holding some form of a plank for eight solid minutes in that workout. It's a great way to finish off a workout. If you wanna hit some abs really fast at the end of a workout, maybe you're pressed for time, you only have like 10 minutes in your day, you wanna get some good muscle activation, some good core muscle activation in there, it's another great option for that. Hey, I hope you guys enjoyed this workout. If you did, do me a favor, hit that thumbs up button down below and thank you so much for those likes. Also, you guys, if you haven't subscribed to Tone and Titan yet, this is a great chance to do so. I try to share a lot of great workouts, healthy recipes, some physical therapy, rehab related advice. I hope you take this chance to subscribe to my channel, hit that subscribe button down below. Also, if you have any questions or comments about this workout, or if you have any ideas for future videos you'd like to see from Tone and Titan, please leave those in a comment down below and I'll get to those just as soon as I can. And until next time, we'll see you right back here on Tone and Titan. Thank you.